Hey everybody, it's me, Ravel, and Mona, my wife. Hi everybody. <laughs> you know, I bet somewhere in the YouTube universe, there is a spouse or partner of somebody who loves being in front of the camera, who's like, on Ravel's world, her wife gets to be off screen all the time and nobody says shit. Why do I have to be on screen? <laughs> you know what? That's because that's what she started. She made, she did her own thing. You got to do your own thing. It pays to like, just do what you want, ladies, men, whatever, whoever the partner is. That's like, not really all about being in front of the camera. seems like every YouTube couple has one, huh? Yeah. Usually there's usually one that's like, all oh, like, oh yeah, totally comfortable whether they are or not. The other one's just like, oh, I'm on camera again. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what they do because they're required to, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we have a bin haul here, guys. It is from our local Lacey bins down the road. Lacey Washington bins for the win. Um, I complain about them a lot, but I also praise them a lot. And it just kind of depends upon my particular experience any given day. These were done were these done recently or before we went on vacation? Before vacation. Oh god. You guys see how we are? Like literally, our bins are so close that we could walk. They are. I've walked there before, and so have you. I have too. Mm -hmm. Because like one of us has gone first, the other one wasn't planning on joining, and then like the other one calls and is like, "Hey, I can't leave. Can you come?" And we both walk down. It's it's a nice little like 1.4 mile yeah, or something like that. It's pretty close. It's nice to have one so close. Like. Yeah. Okay. So we've got what is is this a Oh, it's a Neopet. We got a little Neopet. I'm gonna show you some mishmash first. Um, 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 Pez. Pez. Is it Shopkins? Looks like it, but I don't know. I don't I can't know see either. Here. I have a pop it. Pop it to start. High score. Fifty-one. Shout it. Ah. Shout it. Oh, high score. Is not what just happened. Oh, I don't need something giving me shit. More Pez. Um. I was just looking to see if these are cars. I got this little wind up toy. She's made in Taiwan. She's like 1978. I saw this and I thought of you. And doesn't she look like she's wearing Grocery Outlet? It looks like <laughs> Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. Right on the front there. Um, fun fact, I was at Grocery Outlet this morning. Do you know what I was doing? Looking for ice cream. I was, no. I was hunting down the... Good. <laughs> I was hunting down the last three things of hot cocoa uh, boom chicka pot. Bags, baby. The last three in the store. Nice. They weren't where they're supposed to be. I sniffed around. And I found them. Success. <laughs> See, tenacity and perseverance pays off. Okay, some empty, not empty media. Some blank media that somebody could borrow. I'm gonna borrow, uh, record on. This I don't know if it's old or new, but we got it. It can be cleaned up, and it's just kind of cool. If somebody wants it to fit the rest of their Sonics room. Um, we have cords. Houston, we have cords. Old cords. Yes. The kind that could set your house. We on got fire. some fire starter cords. Why did we want these? Because they're old and they're vintage, and they have a resale value. Just those cords. Yeah. Wow. My wife researches stuff all the time. It's it like, like if you have a. a a mid-century Christmas tree, and mm -hmm. you have all the old cords. That's your extension cord that goes because red and green Christmas colors. Yeah, but would you actually use it? If you put it in a surge protector, maybe. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> if you like living dangerously in the MCM aficionado world, we got you covered. Okay, we got dice. We always pick up dice. Dice. Um, and then she found these really cool leathers. They're just nice, cool metal leathers. This is numbers. Two. Baby, am I having a TIA? And I'm not trying to be funny. Yeah, I've had a hard time today. Here we are. Slow I think today. it's hormones. I think it's. I think it's the menopause coming around the corner. Choo choo! Here it comes. Choo, choo, choo. I have been really tired. I've been cranky all of the blue, but then it's just as fast it goes, right? Yeah. No, it's like I'm like, ah, and then then it's gone. Then I'm like, oh, okay. I guess that's out. Okay. So then this metal. So if I say the wrong word, I'm sorry. No, we are not going to do that. My wife said that she got these because a lot of times the serving utensils are part of the extended set. People get the basic set or they're trying to build it up or they've lost one. Maybe they've made the mistake of letting Aunt Martha take home the mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving. And Aunt Martha sneakily has left the spoon in there because she's always coveted that spoon, you know. And now Aunt Martha has it and you ain't never going to get that shit back. So now. Oh my gosh, I saw something like that. It was on a Dateline or some show where the lady was taking things from holidays. Remember that? 
It was like a. It There's kleptos everywhere, yeah, baby. It was a show. I saw it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. In case Aunt Martha has absconded with something, we got you covered. Okay, I'm trying to get some small things. Oh, you have Disney Infinity. This is a PS3 game. Yeah. Nice. Oh, what is, is this a label maker? Yeah. Which one, baby? Which one? What proud number does this one get to? Get to How many do I have? Too many. But I got we you don't covered. Really, you need a label? You got, yeah, she does. I, when I've needed labels, she's been right there with the labels. Like I was really happy when I could buy the one for printing our mailing labels for the post office. Yes. That was like my, my holy grail. <laughs> and I, did, I didn't pay retail, but I didn't uh, find it thrift. I bought it. Um, I think I bought it on eBay. Or Amazon yeah. was one of the two. In a reduced price. Yeah. That person probably got it at one of those bins close out stores, Amazon returns or some shit. Yeah. More cards. I'm gonna hand this to you. Oh, and then this is from this, right? Yeah. Uh we do pick these up. They're kinda heavy by weight. I mean they're not that heavy. But I would say this is probably about mm, ten to sixteen ounces right here, wouldn't you? feel it when they do those double wall ones they have some weight to them yeah maybe but the good thing is that the hard goods are still only a dollar 34 a pound yeah that's true they haven't gone up so this might be two dollars but that's a lot cheaper right you know so like two dollars and these usually sell for between 10 and 30 sometimes more but we're just getting the ones like you know in good shape and they're not cracked and they're not cracked yeah because we figure at the bins 100 shots in the dark right you're gonna hit something yes that's what i always say so I figure we get a hundred of these, we're bound to get like five to 10 that are going to be worth some real money. And even the ones we get that aren't worth a lot of money might be worth 10. And if we pick it up for two, that's not the worst. I'm going to hand that to you, love, so we can go up to get washed up. And I'm going to give you this bag to sort through. Thanks. Would you like me to throw the clothes that way? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I don't have to take things off the Oh, that's and the then I bag. got this little piece of wood. What makes me so happy? I'm going to tell you guys a really interesting story about how things constantly change in, in, in the thrifting world. I was picking up, not tiny pieces like this, but this kind of wood, you know, monkey pod wood, that kind of thing from the Philippines, from Hawaii. Um, I was picking it for a 99 cents or $1.99, and it was really aggravating my wife because she's like, I'm so tired of paying for wood. And then she let me get at the bins, and then she got aggravated at the bins. She's like, I'm so tired of paying for wood. And so now, unless it's something really awesome or she puts it in there herself, she decides to to bless me with a piece of wood like this. And I'm all excited. I think she found me this one actually. Um, they are actually going, they're cost prohibitive now compared to what I was picking them up for. And while I picked up 50 plus over a year and a half period before the prices went up, um, I was gonna do some stuff with painting and making, you know, some trays, some sort uh, sorting trays and stuff like that out of them. Um, I might just turn around and sell them because they will all be profit, yeah? Yeah. I mean, everything I picked up for $2 is worth like 20 now, and the smaller ones I picked up for a dollar are worth like 10 15 now. I might as well just sell them, right? I mean, psh. Anyway, I got a little wood. Bop it. That bop it needs to shut the F up. I'll try. Oh, he's just trying to steal my thunder. Okay, you guys. Little guys. Little guys. Nike. We love it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was supposed to throw it this way. Okay, we're in the clothes now, guys. This one is an old one. Um, I don't see a date on here. It's all beat to hell, and it's kind of that faded. I would guess that this was probably 90s, but I don't know, rightly know. It might be made just to look that old, but one thing's for sure, it doesn't have a tag on the inside. It hasn't been printed, so there was a tag, and the tag was removed. So that tells me it's more likely to be vintage. We'll push that right there. Okay, what is this? Oh, Seattle Seahawks, 2XL. I think it's a Genius 2XL. But you know what? Jade might like that. I don't know. She might like that. She might like that. This is more her style because she mm -hmm. likes like the yeah, shorter she likes things. Those high up things. <laughs> Run to the family. <laughs> <laughs> I always call them bondagey things just because they're the tie switch back. I'm like, I like those bondagey things, those edgy things. But I do like I do like a good tie tie uh like a corseted look on something okay this is a legion a legion brewing company size xl we got it because it's a ringer and because at the bins it wasn't it didn't weigh much so all right what is this what is this oh who got this was it me was it you i don't know 100 percent cotton i'm guessing it was me made in malaysia 
It's little, it's little white dogs. They look like Scotty dogs, but they're not. Are these Scotty dogs? Do they just do them in reverse? What do you think? Would you call that a Scotty dog? Yeah, Scotty dog. But Scotty dogs are usually black, right? Yeah, it's, oh gosh, Scottish Terrier. Scottish Terrier, thank you. Scottish Terrier. So, Scottish Terrier, Jamie Bottoms. We also Bottoms. have the West Highland Terrier. Oh, yeah, yeah. It might be a Westie. It might, yeah. Could be Westie. Yeah. Anyway, I like to get the AOP, the All Over Prints, in jammies. I like the 100% cotton, and if they're vintage and they have a lot of life left in them, they're essentially new, I will pick them up. Uh, you know, I love a good jammy bond just like the next girl, and I got you covered. This is Australia. It's an Australia map. Yeah, we're getting a lot of those. Yeah, Especially we are. Especially Australia. It's really weird. Yeah, I don't know what that's like all about. It was about. like a whole purge of Australia. Maybe there was... Do we... Do we have a, like a, we don't wouldn't have a base in Australia. Not that I know. That would be weird. Well, we have a base in Germany. We have a but base. But there's a reason for that. Yeah, and we have a base somewhere. Remember uh, back in the day where they were caning people? Like this kid got caned and he made the news. Was it not Thailand? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's back when we, I was in high school. I don't know if you were in high school. Um, I believe I was out of high school. You know, um, when we're Americans, when you go to other countries, don't just do stuff because it's okay to do it here and you think you have privileges as an American. Once you step outside our boundaries, you really don't have American privilege. Because guess what? You ain't in America no more. Act accordingly. All right. This one says Winter Neurosurgical Conference, Alberta, Canada, 1999. Wow. That's very specific. Some brain surgeons. Yes. This is a brain surgeon's one. There's, there's the neuroscience. And look. Look at this really cool vintage hit on the back. I like that. That's really cool. I forget all the cool shit we find. I'm tr I'm sorry. I'm trying to throw it over oh, for you. No worries. Oh, this one has a tag, though. Nike Air. Just a plain white Nike Air. But at the bins, why not? Get that one out for me. Oh, we have some tagged up ones here. There's like only a few of them. Yeah. Usually you'll find a few at the bins because they do pull things that don't sell. Usually I don't get things with tags because they're not usually good, but... These and you know what? Are. A lot of times, even when we go to a state sale, sometimes we see clothes yeah. with tags on them from Goodwill. Like yeah. they've never had their tag removed and been washed so the person can wear them. And now they're part of an estate sale. So there's always that possibility too when you find tag things. It's not always, you can always tell by the date. Like this one, well, this one's 4 6 2022. Nobody wanted this. Uh, well, that's because Karen marked it for eight bucks. Eight dollars for this, babe. Smithsonian Natural Museum of Natural History. And this is a mountain shirt. Eight's a lot for that for a small size. These used to be three ninety nine, and I'm talking like a year ago. They used to be three ninety nine. So when I can find them at the bins, you better believe I pick them up. All right, happy endings, Cobblestone Lucas. Hey, we have the other one. RX happy endings seven times per week. So this is a different design. So I feel like those should be lotted up together, don't you? They're the same size, they're the same color, they're the same business, they're just different sayings. That guy went hog wild when it came time to buy t-shirts. Shoot. It's like, I need one of everything. Nakatomi Towers in Los Angeles, California. That's cool. This is an m and heavyweight. Very cool. Made in Mexico. And in case you don't know what they're talking about there, uh, this is 2010. <coughs> 12 years old. That's where the Die Hard movie was filmed. The original Die Hard and that skyscraper. That was that tower. All right. What do we have here? We have a little Jim Beam little jersey. There we go. Did you see I picked up the little Valentine's Day one? Have you seen it? It's about this size. It's a knit Valentine's Day sweater. I got it yesterday. They don't weigh anything. No, they and they're don't. Cute. I like it. It's cool. People can use them for dogs. They can toy dogs. They can mm -hmm. use them for babies. They can use them for crafting. It's whatevs. Oh, this one's really cool. This is, I would qualify this one as an art tee as well. I had tag, tag was removed, but this is from 1993. It is single stitch. First annual Pacific Beach Washington Kite Festival, September 11th, 12th, 13th, 1993. So you got that hit on the front with the color of that and then the black and white. And then you have this on the back. So you're seeing it as in from far away in a different perspective. I thought that was really cool. <coughs> My goodness. We've got some vintage Levi's here for you. We pick up vintage Levi's when they're in the bins and they're in good condition. This is July 2001, so these are officially vintage, being over 20 years old. They are a relaxed straight leg, 36 by 34. So there we go. And there's some nice, there's some nice uh, 
aging to it, like nice aging that comes from actually wearing the jeans and doing the work. I like the pockets, mm -hmm. etc. It's you can tell it's not that ostentatious, intentional distressing that irritates the shit out of me sometimes because it looks so fake ass. That's why when you see designers do it and they sell it for eight hundred dollars, who was that designer that's selling destroyed shoes with the paint and the crap on them? Like eight hundred dollars a pair, twelve hundred. I saw it. I, I can't recall. It was, yeah, it was crazy. I was like, look at this. Mm -hmm. Look what they do to these shoes, and they're selling them for so much. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is from 2019 Hollywood Palladium Fashion Nova times Cardi B. We got it, even though you know how I feel about fast fashion. It has Cardi B on it. So you got the Cardi B right there. <coughs> there you go. I can't quit yelling. I think it's my allergies. My ears itch, and then I yawn. My wife got this gifted to her, didn't you? Yes, I did. Very Fine. nice lady at the bins gave it to me. Yeah. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. So Disney, it's a size large, made in Vietnam. It's got the 626, which is June 26th, is when everything went down in Stonewall uh, 50, oh, just over 50 years ago, and that's where pride comes from. Anyway, we all know that Stitch is supposed to represent the LGBTQ people, and 626 is, of course, our day where we said we're not going to take it anymore. And you've got some really fun, cool stitches, all I mean, patches all over it. So it's already patched up and you could add to it. What did you say the value on this was? I know you looked oh, it up. Yeah. Oops, sorry. If you don't, it's it's fine. Okay. <laughs> this is a Dawes. It's just a repo, but I liked it. And by weight, it's not much at the bin. So we picked that up. Oh, is this a twin breaker? I believe we have a twin breaker. Kind of like the wheat thins. Oh my God, my kids re did that to death, didn't they? Yeah. It wasn't a Jordan that was always like, wheat thins, wheat thins, because of Stewie from uh, Family Guy. And she just really loves Stewie. Go figure. Okay, this one's extra large. Um, made in where? <laughs> Bangladesh. Okay. So this one is just a Seattle Seahawks one. It's not particularly old, but it's nice. And we do pick those up. They sell for a few bucks, guys. United States of America, Map Revision Initiative of the Alaskan Geographic Alliance. So I'm not sure what's up with this, but it's on a Haynes Heavyweight 50-50. Uh, made in USA. It's got to have some sort of significance. I guess I could look it up and find out. But right now, it's just a nerdy random t-shirt for me. And I like it that way, too. So... Then, we always try to buy these jumpsuits. A lot of people will pass on them because this one's lightweight, but I picked one up at the bins yesterday that was, oh my gosh, it was probably three to three pounds, three to four pounds of our weight, but it was really cool, and I just, I feel like they're like a blank canvas, you guys. I've said this before. When you have a jumpsuit like this, you know, sometimes they're all thrashed all the heck. We sometimes find them because of the military. We have a base not far from here. But this one also is just, this was made in USA, Dur Durable Press. So this one is probably older. It's in really good condition though. Uh, except for right here, you've got a little bit of uh, whatever happened there. This this outfit saved dude. It looks like he saved his, his hip there. Damn. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's they're in really pretty good clean condition. They obviously get a really long soak to get out any kind of chemicals, oil, whatever might be lingering in there to give it kind of that you know, work smell. Because when we send them to you, they're going to smell good and they're going to be softer than the work wear. So they're going to have the patina of hard work without having the stench of it. All right, we got you covered on that. So that one's nice. All right, we pick up jerseys when we can. This one is the Vikings. Um, Majestic size XL, number one. I guess this might be a fan one. And it's, oh, this reminds me of what, what's his name had? The, the see-through netting? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Marshmallow Man. Oh, my goodness, I'm down to 20% already. Uh -oh. I talk too much, guys. My wife's like, I don't even have to agree with that. We all know it. Everybody in the room knows it. Okay, so this is from, uh, is it, what's the game? Is it from Fort? Fortnite? Let me see. Is it more? Probably. 
Okay, I'm trying to think of what he's from. But Isn't Mars there also a DJ too, but I don't know if that's he, the DJ or he, if that's the Fortnite. Oh, he's like the he's like the DJ dude. He's the dude at the rave that's all drugged up. Again, I know I'm talking about drugs. Sorry, I only know this because when I, I did that, that guy, skateboard, that guy had a thing in Vegas when we were there too. If that's the DJ, but I'm not sure. Oh, Marshmallow. Yeah, so I'm not sure. Oh, we're not there's, sure. There's two references it could. Mellow game. Oh, but Mellow does Marshmallow does Marshmallow the guy spell it this way too? I have no idea. Okay, so Marshmallow from Fortnite and Marshmallow came out about the same time. Either way, we picked it up. Welcome to the Mellow Gang. Yeah, it would say Fortnite, wouldn't it? I don't know. I think this is a concert one, baby. Actually, I don't know. Because look, it says Welcome to the Mellow Gang, but it doesn't have it's. It doesn't have Fortnite. There'd be Fortnite licensing on this, and they would show the guy's face. So I stand corrected. I do believe this is Marshmallow, the DJ performer, which actually makes it more valuable right now, right? Yeah. Let me look. I know here. everybody was in Vegas. Yeah, EDM. So that was electronic dance music. That would be a DJ. Mm-hmm. Um, nice. I see some up for forty bucks. So. Nice. We probably paid what three dollars by weight. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay, this one has a tag on it too. I will remove the tag. Let's see. I'm looking at the prices that Karen marked these at. $321.2022. She wanted $8 for this on the first day of spring. Karen. <coughs> the kids don't like these in the, in the summer. Okay? Even though it's a short sleeve shirt. I can keep you like, I'm so sorry, guys. Is anybody else out there like just tired? Like I got up after you went to bed, way before you, for a few days in a row, huh? Yeah. Like, this this woman just wants to sleep. <coughs> no, no, I'm coughing. All right, this is Bill Blass. 20W. What did I get these for? For myself. My wife got these for me, and she knew I was looking at some other brown pinstripe pants. And I might make these into some capris for me. We'll see what I do with them. Here we are in the gym. <coughs> I just can't stop coughing either. Okay, Johnny Blaze. I don't know much about Johnny Blaze, but I found this jacket. He's heavy as hell. It says Johnny Blaze on it. Here's the back hit. Here's the front. It's really heavy denim. It's even got this really cool weighted uh, Johnny Blaze thing right here. So it looks like it's built for the long haul. Um, it's made in China, but size XXL. So guess what? I could rep this if I wanted to. Come on, big Johnny Blaze. We've got a couple XXL things in here. Several. That's my favorite size. I see that in the bins. I'm like, yay, I can play with it. Okay, Alaska, guys. Alaska. Size extra large, Gildan Heavy Blend. Alaska and it's wolves. Wolves in Alaska. We got more chonies for Little Bug. Got this one. We got this one. And we got this one. And then this one my wife found. You guys know where it's from. Dominican Republic means that this is vintage. All right. You're reminding all right. me of Outcast. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was from what's his name's character in Dazed and Confused, Matthew McConaughey. Maybe. But he got a start. He just was like, all right, all right, well, all right. With the color scheme, it makes more sense. Yeah. And with they heard him say it, and they're like, yeah, we want you to say that. That was kind of an improv thing. And look, it's become like a, a catchphrase from a movie. All right. We have Seattle football. This is pretty thrash, but we like our thrash tees. <coughs> Damn it. My throat is dry. I should have got some water. No, I don't have any water. Uh, this is Sergeant Leisure Hawaii. Uh, it's obviously made. In, oh, it's made in Mexico, but I would venture to say this is this is eighties. I'll show you guys the way it's cut wide, slightly cropped, the stitching, and just the cush of the cotton. That's what makes me think it's probably. I would say nineteen eighty eight called. <coughs> This one, oh my god, I forgot about this. <coughs> Anytime you want to step in here while I'm having a fit. Mm. 
I'm like, you guys ever do that? Do you guys concentrate so you don't cough? Especially in public anymore, because you cough in public, it doesn't matter if it's asthma, it doesn't matter if it's allergies. All people know is you're coughing and you might have the Rona and you always get these looks, huh? I like this. It reminds me of a straight jacket. Let me introduce it to you. It is unlimited. Look at that tag, metallic gold. you a straight jacket yeah it does it does this billy ellis wishes she could for real could you see her with this with it all Probably. marked up or dyed some certain way you yeah, could probably. huh oh my god you guys see all the little billy ellis girls running all over the place we have a lot of them in the pnw you know them because they're wearing like big baggy clothes and their hair is kind of mostly in their eyes and it's just kind of like, you know, blunt cut. And I always, okay, full disclosure, sometimes if my wife's not with me, I'll take a picture really quick and I'll send and say, hey, look, I saw Billie Eilish. And then she writes laugh out loud. And then she, she <laughs> I just like, look, it's Billie Eilish because it's amazing. I mean, she obviously represents a very, you know, stuck a chord with young girls. And yeah, so now we have a million little Billy Ellishes out there running around. You guys have seen them, right? If you haven't seen them, then you must live, I don't know, rural Kentucky, if I had to guess, or something like that, wouldn't you say? Because it would be hard to look different. Trust me, I grew up in a small town of 3,000 looking different, and I got harassed for it. It just made me double down, though. I was just like, hmm. Okay, this is... Oh, Taps Ralph Lauren. And this one's very patriotic. Yeah, I think I need to put that one up in case somebody wants to rep it on 4th of July. Mm-hmm. Perfect. We picked this up. I wasn't a big fan of it because it's kind of worn. Um, some kid threw it back probably because it wasn't a banger. Like, it wasn't worth, like, you know, 100 bucks or some shit. So... They put it back. It's a 2XL made in USA. I'll show it to you. My wife will wear it. I'll wear it. Somebody will wear it. Not me. I don't think so. I think this is more designed for you. Look. Yeah. It's it's so. it's a much more... Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, that one I, I kept going back and forth. Do I want it? Do I want it? Finally, I got it. I think she just got it. I was like... Then I say something like, if you don't get it, you know you're going to think about it. You're going to be talking about it tonight. Because that's how it goes, doesn't it? You know, you guys... You think about something, you gotta get it, you stop, you gotta get it, you stop, you gotta get it, you stop. And if you don't get it, what's think what's going through your mind while you're watching TV or eating dinner later on? Oh, I'll tell you what's going through your mind. You're like, fuck. I should have bought that. Oh my gosh, when's the next time I'm gonna see one that perfect? I mean it spoke to me. It was sitting there speaking to me. Why didn't I just pick it up? So when you know it's like that and you're not just like flagrantly just buying too much because you're in a good mood and thrifting makes you happy. That can be dangerous, but if it's something like, you know, it just speaks to you. You guys know what you what I mean, right? You guys have had things just speak to you. Oh my gosh. When they speak to you, you're like, yes, I hear you. Okay, this is Liquid Blue XL. It's it's a screen. It's not, it's a screen print and tray. That being said, it's the Chicago Cubs. And I feel like that's cool. And there's going to be somebody who'd want that out there. So we picked it up. This is Roxy. And this was made in Hong Kong. It's Roxy Quicksilver Teeny Wahini. Um, Roxy was the girls brand that came out of Quicksilver. Uh, my girls, oh my gosh, as young teens and tweens, they wore a lot of Roxy. We had so many Roxy hoodies floating around the house. They each had like two or three. It was like a big thing where we lived. So this one is Retro AF. This probably... Actually, this does. This probably predates the girls and their their obsession. But it's almost like a rubberized. It's like a rubberized ribbon. I don't even know how to describe it. Feel the ribbon, the silver ribbon, baby. Yeah. You felt it. It's just Ooh, it's, it's weird. It's almost like latex or, like, or rubber yeah. or like yeah, I don't like, know. You can't move your yeah. You kind of get stuck. Not stuck it's a real tacky, yeah. It's a it's it's, it's weird it's yeah. Like, it's a weird, weird texture material, yeah. Minnesota Wild Hockey. Here we go. It says CCM on the back. Okay. Buffalo Bills, y'all. Anybody into Buffalo Bills? This is a Toltex, large, made in USA. This comes to you straight out of the late 80s into the early 90s. Buffalo Bills, y'all. This is going to be a nice vintage piece for somebody. 
a Buffalo Bills fan is going to be happy when you buy this for them. And we got you covered for that. All right. This one is an anvil tag made in USA, fabric made in USA, assembled in El Salvador. It is vintage. It is not single stitch. And it says, um, tiptoe through the tulips with me. Oh, through the tulips, through the tulips. Tiptoe through the tulips with me. Will you? Will you tiptoe through yeah, the tulips? Yeah, up in Skagit County. Skagit County. We went there 2020, right, when yeah. we got married? Those bastards weren't open. No, because of coronavirus. I know. And I just wanted to be able to drive up and see them. I thought, well, they should at least let us be able to, like, walk through there. Or, yeah, like, I think it's, like, Mount Vernon. Is yeah, it's Mount Vernon. Yeah, we went. And see if we went thrifting, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. and we had like a facebook marketplace or offer up pickup that we yeah. did yeah, yeah that so was, that all was around the lost. time of our honeymoon wasn't it wasn't yes we it was we were up there for our honeymoon you know us we get married on may day in the middle of a big huge pandemic because that's our style okay bike uh it's the brand large made in usa and I got some more of that see-through blue athletic gear. Yeah, that's green. Say. It's like 80s to me. It does. This is 80s. You know, the right girl could wear a bra or a bralette or some kind of fun tank underneath this. Guy could just wear this when he wants to show off his nipples. Hell, a girl could just wear this when she wants to show off her nipples. You know, that's a pride look for somebody. You know, the girls that like to put the black electrical tape over the nipples and aerials, and then they can wear this over it and be just like chill. And that way, those poor little white girls, because it's always a white girl doing this shit, won't get burned because they're always turning bright pink. And I'm like, every part of that girl's body is going to hurt tonight. She's so dumb. <laughs> that's what I think. I don't think sexy. I'm like, mm, she's going to burn to a crisp. She's so dumb. That is what I think. I'm just like, working on my skin cancer. <sighs> okay, 100% cotton, made in USA, size XL. It's American Giant. I picked this up. I did not ask my wife. You saw this, right? It's that good kush cotton. Oh, yeah. And it's pigment dyed. It's well faded. It's perfect for either distressing, adding paint to, reverse tie dye, patching it up, doing something to it. Come on. Feel this. This is quality. And you know you got hit with a sweatshirt when you, when I throw that at you. Because it's like, you feel it. You can tell that's vintage 100% quality cotton. Yeah. That was heavy. <laughs> it was heavy. That's why I didn't tell her about it. She told me we had to make weight, and so I made that happen. All right. Obey, Ministry of Propaganda. We like our Obey shirts. We don't find them as much anymore in the bins, but we do find them sometimes. So there's that one. That's a fun one. Uh, we thought that somebody out there might need this. You know, I don't know. It is a <laughs> made in Honduras. It's a size XL. 100% um, durable pressed cotton, okay? So I'm going to show you the front first. So there's that. The name on here is Chris's Repair. And there we go. That's what it says on the back. Yeah, the right person will want this. There is somebody out there that's looking at this or will see it when it's listed. That's like, that's fucking badass. And I'm going to be like, yeah, we've got you covered. We like cool shit too. We not can't always pull it off or wear it, but we like to buy it for people. Then this is Tilted Kilt. I don't know. It's made in Honduras. It's on an anvil tag. I would assume this is vintage Honduras because of the anvil tag and the way the tag ribbon, the ribbon tag, loop tag. But there we go. Understated with the unicorn feels very, very Scottish to me. The tilted kilt. Hey, my wife picked this up. She likes this. Rowdy Bay. Made in Dominican Republic. It's kind of like that reverse pattern fabric. You know, they actually turned it inside out and did it that way. Which, you know, I can't remember how long ago that started off. But I think know. these are one of these shirts I bought to wear on vacation. Yeah. Well, we got ACL coming up in October. Yeah, I can wear it. We're going to be dying to get out of this town and away from our Maybe 4th of July. Yeah, we got a getaway on 4th of July. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Me too. Sorry, moms, you can't come. There's only room for two. Hmm. But, you know, by that time, we're going to be like, aww. Yeah, well, we made these plans a long time ago before we knew you were coming to live with us. Oh, no, see, she's not going, so you can't go. It's it's a children-only occasion. 
<laughs> we need our children only occasions trust okay september 2006 so this one is 16 years old they're relaxed fit 550s yeah nice size lots of wear left in them so we picked those up okay this one is like a repo it's pearl jam in um free to the loom classic sweat Oh, geez. I can't even... Where do they put the... They're getting so tricky with the country of origin. I think they do this stuff on purpose. Um, okay, I can't even tell. But here's the Pearl Jam little front. And here's the back. Kid threw this back. The same kid that threw back the sweater that Mona ended up picking up. Um... See if you can see a country of original in there just for shits and giggles because I can't. I think they do that shit on purpose. And I found Kooji. Kooji. I used to call it Kooji. I got corrected. It's Kooji in the bins. And this one's the size XL. 100% uh, cotton. Made in India. Here we go. I'm not 100% convinced it's legit, but at the same time, I'm not worried that it's fake either. It's not like with Tommy or something else where I get really paranoid. Um, anyway, I like it. Do you feel like it's probably real? It's got the two-tone color. It's got the really thick, heavy weight right around the wrist. Probably. You're still trying to figure out the country of something, but I can't read it. Yeah, they do that on purpose, so you can't read it. Vancouver, Canada. It's got some embroidery. There we go. Nice chocolate brown shirt. Morocco. Morocco. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. Morocco is on here, so. Well, if it's really hard to see the country of origin, my guess is that it's more recent. I've noticed that trend that they're trying to make it harder to read. Why don't you want us to know where our shit comes from? Why? Because you know the kids want the vintage? Because you know that we don't like Morocco. recent? Yeah. I'm going to do the trick and take a picture of it. Okay. Toy Story, Pixar. Here we go. Just a regular, just, you know, nice basic shirt. Planet Hollywood, New York. Made um, in how USA. How easy it is when you, uh, there you, go. you do the... What did you find out, babe? Made in Hergestfeld in, and it says Fab Fabricado in, then Felto in, then Producto in Morocco. So I'm assuming it's Morocco. Interesting. See that at the bottom? Yeah. They make that hard to see. That Hergit, whatever, that doesn't look like a Moroccan place, but it must be. Yeah, so this is, and it's got the WWW. We know it's recent anyway, but that's a whole lot of information back about tag. And it's a slimy tag. It's the, the slimiest free to the loom tag I've ever seen. And you know how I feel about slimy slime tags. I don't like them. So there must be a place. Oh, no, made in. Oh, okay. It's all the words for made in in different languages. And then it says Morocco after the, um... Mm. Yeah, so it's Morocco. Okay. But they, they instead of just putting where, they put all the languages that mean made in. Like made in, Hergestfeld in, Fabrik A, Fabricado N, Faito M, something that I can't read, and Prodotto N, and then it says Morocco. So they no. did it really weird. They put yeah. all the ways to say made in, and then finally Morocco. That obviously is more recent because we all know that when things were made in the USA, they didn't really care to put it in multiple languages. I yeah. mean, come on. Back, you know, back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, even 80s. NCWA VF in Imageware. And this tag is worn all the hell. And so is this thing cuffed and flea bitten all the hell. But I love it. I love it. It's vintage color blocking. And I think it's, it's awesome. It's got the thrashed um, cuffs that you like, too. Yeah. I like the thrash cuffs. Do you think somebody did this on purpose? I don't know. You like the thrash cuffs. I a lot. do. I do. In fact, Collective Treasures Picking Adventures about a week ago, you were wearing a hoodie and it like it was almost the the band was almost separated from the hoodie and you know, we could just see this part of the shot of you because you shoot forward, you don't shoot at yourself. And um I was like, I love your sweater. Look how it's barely hanging on. And it's all tattered. I love tattered. That's what I was doing, huh? Mm -hmm. I was like waxing poetic about the, 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 how worn your sweater was. Because I love me a good worn sweater. So this made my heart happy. Oi, what's this? Mm. I'm telling you, you got 10% battery now. You thought you had 20%, but you better Yay. hurry up. I better hurry my ass up. And then, um, what is this that he has in his hand? It's a pickle with 
something, but it's an Ikea shirt. Right. We have an Ikea shirt that we picked up. And the kids up. in the events kept laughing about it, and they were, like, basically saying that that shirt was booty. I'm like, I'm going to get this shirt. You know why we picked this shirt up? I have a vintage Ikea shirt mm. that sells for good money. Because we have one with an AOP on it that sells for 80 to to $100, and right now we just and have that's a rolling cool on graphic, it. So it is I'm a cool graphic. It. So you little kids at the bins who thought that it was, it was funny, well, we're going to have the last laugh because... Even if this is worth a third of that, that would still make it like a $30 shirt. So, yeah, we got that from those other kids that threw the other stuff back. So, you know, it helps to shop around people who are looking for very specific things that aren't necessarily your yeah, things. I heard them say, you know, they were just bagging on the shirt and blah, 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 Ikea. I'm like, oh, there's an Ikea shirt there? I'll be getting that. And then Mona's like, Spidey sense was off. She's like, Brrr. I heard the word Ikea. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then she went and got it. She is just strangely drawn to now, all Ikea things like you. put out a lot of t-shirts and people don't keep them around mm -hmm. and there's not many of them out there. So after a while, that shirt's going to be sought after. Mm -hmm. I guarantee And it. we're going to be the ones laughing and he's going to be the one now probably 30, 35 at that point going, man, I saw one of those one time. It wasn't worth shit though back in the day, but man, I wish I had it now. I don't know why I gave him a strangely deep voice, but that's how I picture it. And he's 35. I guess I picture him smoking a lot of cigarettes between then and now. Now in the head. <laughs> okay, guys, that was our haul. Um, I'm wearing this. It says Get Licked. It's a tow truck company. There's a big head on the back. We picked this up in either Vegas or Palm Springs. I forget which. Either way, it was at a bins and it didn't cost us but maybe a buck fifty. That's what I love about the bins. And I will encourage you if you haven't tried the bins yet, try the bins. Most bins are super sweet. So, I mean, Shout out to Vegas bins and San Bernardino bins because those were just like super chill bins when we were on vacation. It was yeah, a I very really pleasant surprise. Bins. Yeah, everybody was nice, respectful, and they had good stuff up in there too. Yeah, next time, uh, later this year when we're in Vegas, I'm going to mm -hmm. hit those bins. <laughs> yeah, we're going to hit those bins again. That's where she got her big jack-o'-lantern blow mold. Yes. Yeah, because you know what? When we find a bull mode, let me tell you something. We were on the road. We were fully loaded down in our little Nissan Versa. We had no room for said blow mold. But you know what you do when the universe gives you a blow mold? You, you make room. You make room in your budget. You make room in your car. You make room where you need to. So that's what we did. And it took every last inch of space. And we paid for it the rest of the trip with our comfort. But that's what you do for a blow mold. Don't be a little punk ass turning your back on blow molds, okay? No, they can turn okay. their back on blow molds. That's cool. They can do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you guys want to totally turn your back on blow molds and not pick them up when they're super cheap, say, I don't know, worth like 125 and they're only asking 20 then go for it because those of us who have a little bit more um, uh, uh, resale savvy are always going to pick those up. You I'll make room for molds. blow molds. Yes. Yeah, because I was just like at the Vegas bins, I'm like, ah. Oh. She was I might so be able sad. To beat all these kids after the blow mold, but I, I, the blow mold was so far at the end. Here's what happened. The new rotation came. Here's out. what happened. Honest to God, she saw the blow mold, and I wasn't. Tr I'm never like purposely negative. I was like, "Oh, you're never gonna get it." And I meant because she was on. You were on this side, mm -hmm. and we thought it was like our bins. Like we're like, "Oh, someone's gonna grab that mold first thing." People are probably drooling over it. Nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted to buy off season. And then my wife found it, and then she got really sad. I didn't she, find it. I went all the way over and got it. Yeah, she went all the way. Like, yeah, you went all the way over and got it. And then when you found me, you go, "Just how's looking face?" She goes, "I got the blow mold." I was like, "Oh yay, babe!" Like I said, I didn't mean to be negative that you wouldn't get it. I just figured somebody's going to grab it who was on that side. She goes, "But I thought maybe you don't want to take it home because it's so big." I'm like, "We're going to make room." Listen to me. Read my lips. You make room for blow molds, people. I mean, leaving a blow mold that's cheap enough behind, that's a super amateur move. Super amateur. That's like first grade kindergarten level. Don't do that. Even if it's out of season, it will always sell. Even if you don't want it, somebody does. You make room for blow molds in your budget or in your car, as the case may be. All right, on that note, you guys, don't take lives too seriously. Remember to practice your self-care. You're important. And until next time, I just want to say bye. And I will turn it off because my wife is busy over there. She has been derelict in her duties to turn this off. So I'm going to do her job right now. Here comes my finger. Oh, here we go. Bye.